Hi there, Release Fire here. So I'm going to talk you through the Paper Mario, the Origami King final boss fight. I'm going to give you some tips on how to finish Ollie off. And hopefully this will show you how to beat Ollie when you get to him at the end of Origami Castle at the end of the game. Like I say, he's the final boss. Hopefully the video is going to help you out. If it does, drop me a like below. But he starts out by turning into all the different Velementals. So he's got the Bibliofolds as well as you, and you've got to make it to this pad where you get to choose which Velemental to go up against. So to start with, just making a nice easy route right down the middle at number eight. That'll take me straight up, and then I'll bring the pad down at number 11, and then bring it around to eight, and that'll give me a clear run up to the pad. And with the Earth Velemental, what you want to do is to choose the Ice Velemental, which will encase it in ice. And while it only does 1 HP of damage, when you get your next go, which will give you a 1000 fold arm to use, uh, you'll be able to do way more damage as a result of it being frozen. And to do that, I was just moving this on up to here and then moving the on pad around and the arrow around for another simple run up right down the middle. And the pad gives you the 1000 fold arms which you can grab quite low down to pick the ice up and flip it in the air. When it smashes down with its tender underside, you can then smash it repeatedly as much as you can to take down a lot of its health. However, it can regenerate health. So while it looks like I've pretty much finished it off, if you let the timer go for too long, then it'll regenerate a little bit of health and that can really slow you down. So you really want to speed up your decisions. But if you're having real difficulty with that, one of the things that I found that was helpful in this final boss fight is to take a picture of the board and then press the minus button to buy yourself some more time so you can continue to look at the board plan your route and then press minus or B again to go back into the game and that'll give you just a little bit more time to work out what you're actually going to do. So next up in the final boss fight is the water velemental and here I'm just going to head around to the right, pick up the on switch and then I'm just moving this around to get the velemental pad and against the big wave you need to go with the earth velemental. I did not go with the earth velemental however I realized as soon as I'd made the wrong decision you definitely want the earth velemental but you also want to wait to confirm it when the cyclones around the outside are not on you. But I went with the ice velemental and that didn't really work out for me. However, I still got a chance to, uh, to use the 1000 fold arms, uh, which you can see here because after using the wave attack, it's pretty tuckered out and you can just get in a really good hit. And then next up, we've got the fire velemental. And again here, I'm just setting up a simple route up at eight. Yes, I'll take some damage from those things, but it's not the treble crazy flamey ones and then here you obviously want the water velemental so this will put out all of its flames which is obviously what you want to do and then that'll give you a nice easy run right down the middle to pick up the 1000 fold arms tap and you'll be able to start plucking the feathers out of this bird and you can see this is going to pretty much finish it off however this isn't the end of the final boss fight there is way more of Ollie to come. This is just phase one of three. So once you've managed to finish off Ollie in this form, he then turns into this giant origami monster and you have to face him with Bowser on your team. And this is kind of a weird little section that takes a while to get used to, but essentially what you're looking for is for when Bowser takes a little sit down, uh, then you want to get yourself one of the 1000 fold arm tabs and you want to smash the floor repeatedly as much as possible. So don't just do it once, you want to do it over and over again and that creates waves and what you're trying to do is push Bowser further forward. So you just keep on going around to where he is, jumping over these things as they come around and as soon as you see him take a seat like he has done there, then just start bashing up and down with the 1000 fold arms pad and then when it gets to the final bit with a thwomp, you just gotta go crazy with the up and down motion to be able to finish Ollie off in his second form. But again, that isn't the end of the boss fight. There's more to it and he then sets up this crazy board that you've got to unscramble and he's this massive kind of like 
origami maniac hovering in the background while you're uh, while you're trying to figure it out. If that isn't bad enough, it'll also start doing moves on you after the timer counts down. So you can see, actually, it's not as difficult to unscramble as it might look but you will need to dodge these and this is essentially just quick time reaction. So as soon as you see A, you've got to press A and then you're back into moving these things around. So you can see by bringing them in, you'll find that it's quite easy to get them into a good position, but you don't have very long. So again, you've just got to quick time dodge everything that comes at you and then get back to quickly trying to unscramble this. So again, moving that around and then I've got quite a lot of spinning to do to be able to finalize this all off, uh, but I won't get a chance to finish it with this one. It goes into his crazy knives attack. So again, A to jump over that. It's just the one on that occasion. And then hoping to try to twist these around as quickly as possible. But it can take a little bit of time to work it all out and you've just got to keep having confidence in your quick time abilities. As soon as you see A, press A. It's like, it sounds simple, but it can be a little bit nerve wracking. But if you keep calm and keep focusing on press A and keep trying to unscramble the board, as soon as you know what you need to do, as you can see there, I definitely knew what I was meant to do by that stage. I was trying to get in as many moves as possible. However, things start to get a little bit more complex with the paper aeroplanes because you get quite a few. So you can see that is four quick time A's to press whenever it sends out the aeroplanes. And then you're back to trying to get in the final move before the timer counts down, but that's still not the end of it. He's like, hey, I can scramble this all day, every day. So he does that again. You've got to press A, A for each and every one of these, and then press A repeatedly when he tries to squish you. And you can see I was too slow. I didn't press A quickly enough, and he scrambles it again. However, if you press A quickly enough at that point, you'll go to the end session, the end phase, uh, of your fight against Ollie, the final boss fight. Uh, but you can see it didn't take me too long to be able to fix that problem. And then again, I've got the A's to press there, A's to press there. And then for this one, you just got to keep pressing A repeatedly and that will push him back. Dodge the scissor attack. And then you get a chance to use the 1000 fold arm pads. And this is where you get in your final hit to finish off the final boss fight. And this is how to beat Ollie in, uh, in the Origami Palace. You just get a chance to smash him in the face. And then at that stage, Olivia breaks out that she's got this secret move that she's learned, which she unleashes a new origami move, which turns it into this giant hammer. And then again, you've just got to smash Ollie in the face to finish him off. And that is the Paper Mario, the Origami King, final boss fight. All my tips, talking you through each of the sections in the fight. Like I said earlier, hopefully the video helps you out. If it does, drop me a like below. You can also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, with the links on the left hand side. And check out the rest of my walkthrough and guide for Paper Mario, the Origami King, with the links on the right hand side. Leave any comments, let me know how you get on against the final boss, and I will catch you next time.